Hi, what's up YouTube? I'm out here today trying to film some new content for you all with my DJI Mavic Pro. I'm going to use the active track feature to follow my car. So let's see what happens. All I have to do is just press go and I'm going to hop in the car and actually use the remote control while I'm driving. So I'm in my car now and I'm just driving around, just taking my time so I can get the Mavic Pro to try to track me. But um, I can see it in the back here. Let's see if I can show you what it looks like. That's the Mavic right there off to the left. Um, I think it's maybe about 12 feet away from me um, and about maybe 10 feet in the air. But um, it is kind of hard to see it because it's getting dark now. But I was having a hard time earlier trying to get it to track me because I guess it's getting very, very dark. So let's see how it does. So far it's doing a good job, but if you look down um, on the icon off to the left side of my car, it's showing a boat. So obviously my car is not a boat. It's supposed to show a car icon. So that might have to do with something with the sensors having a hard time trying to um, get more ambient light so you can see its subject. But so far I'm really impressed. I mean, it's right behind me and it's always keeping me um, in its line of vision in the center and um, it's been following me so far. So I'm gonna drive a little bit more and do a few little turns here and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try to speed up a little bit and see what happens. I've only been going about five miles an hour, but let me see what happens if I do about 20 real quick. So it is keeping up with me even though I'm speeding up a little bit. I'm gonna brake real quick and see what happens. And as you can see here, it is riding up on me so it doesn't brake really well. It almost wants to crash into me. Good thing I have it up um, almost 10 feet above me. So here's a video clip that I shot with the Mavic Pro using the active track feature. And it's about, I think, 5.30. Um, it's getting dark. And so it's having a hard time trying to track me, but it's still doing a really good job. I just wanted to see what it was gonna do whenever it gets dark outside and you try using the active track feature. But um, as you can see here, it's doing a really good job of keeping me in the center and it is just following me um, at a pretty decent speed. Um, it just has a hard time. I notice that whenever I'm trying to brake, uh, it doesn't slow down fast enough. So it kind of creeps up behind you. So you gotta be careful, but you're fine if you have it in the air at a decent height. But if you have it pretty much lower level with the car, I'm pretty sure um, it'd probably crash into the back of the trunk um, if you braked hard enough and um, even with the avoidance collision parameters that it has. As you can see right here, I'm braking really hard and it's almost going right over me. So it's starting to get really dark now and as you can see here, it's saying it cannot track the subject. And I guess that's because the ambient light is not bright enough. So um, I hope that this was helpful. Oh, it says it right here, ambient light too weak. So um, I hope you all can learn from this advice. <laughs> and now it's almost trying to track me, but it has a boat icon on it again. So I cannot get this thing to track me for nothing. So right now I'm inside my car um, flying the Mavic Pro. And one thing I did notice is that whenever you hit the record button, um, especially if you're flying at night, it's kind of dangerous because right now I have the Mavic right in front of me and the lights are on. You see those two bright LED lights. Whenever you hit the record button, which I'll do it right now, they turn off so you can't even see the thing. So you don't even see the Mavic now unless I drive right up on it. So it's right in front of me. And what I'll do is I'll cut off the recording and you'll see the light come back on. So turn the light off whenever you record and then whenever you stop recording the lights come back on so I wish that the lights would at least blink whenever you're recording at night because it makes it really hard to see it at night but if you turn it the other way around the back part is always green so at least that doesn't go away whenever you're recording I hope you all enjoyed the video and can learn from my experience that I had using the active track feature in the evening. If you all enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share the video if you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you all for watching.